Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a real quick look together at this Dometic Soft Start for your FreshJet mechanical air conditioner setup. Now this has been designed, as I mentioned, to fit your Dometic FreshJet mechanical air conditioner unit. And this soft starter is going to reduce the power needed to start your Dometic FreshJet air conditioner for a more efficient operation. This has been designed and tested for all RVs and motorhomes, and this is going to be perfect for boondocking, supplementing generator power in high altitudes, just to name a few ways that this is gonna be great for you. Now this will let you run your air conditioner on a small generator or simultaneously with small, uh, small appliances. You will need one soft start controller per each air conditioner unit, so one per air conditioner unit. So some benefits that this is going to give you is it's going to limit the stress put on the motor, the compressor, and the drivetrain to extend the life of your air conditioner. The built-in start capacitor is going to control the torque to ensure smoother starts and stops. So this is going to eliminate the trailer shaking and loud clunking startup noise from your compressor. You won't be jolted awake in the middle of the night. And this is going to prevent overheating using an integrated bypass contactor. It resists vibration, flames, and this is IP65 rated against dust and low pressure water jet spray. It's probably gonna be difficult for you to see, but there are LED lights here that's gonna show the operation status and alerts. Um, and so you're, you're gonna know about potential faults and things like that. This is going to be a, a pre-wired installation with the included cable ties here and what I'm calling the, the pigtails here. So this is going to be uh, all included. So what's nice about this is you're not gonna have to worry about um, cutting wiring or crimping wires or things like that. This bracket's going to be attached to this. And then let me go ahead and provide some measurements for you just so you have a good idea of the size. So the length I'm going to, that I'm gonna give you is gonna be from end of post to end of post where these uh, cables start to come out. So end of post to end of post. Let's see if I can get this line up here for you just so you can see. So as you can see, we're sitting right at about eight and a quarter inches long. And then looking at the width, the bracket's going to make this a little bit wider than the uh, the unit itself. We're sitting right at about right, right about three and three quarters inches wide and then the overall height about five inches tall and this has a maximum working temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit and this is about two or three pounds so it's not terribly heavy. Instructions are included to guide you through the installation process. But I think that's going to wrap up our quick look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.